It's our first video of 2024. Interest rates are high, many countries are not getting along with each other, and there are fears around the world about an economic slowdown. So what does this mean for the private equity industry in 2024? Well, no one really knows, but lots of people will be speculating and making predictions. So in this video, I will share my three main predictions for the private equity industry in 2024. Number one, private credit will become more attractive. Number two, high net worth individuals will increase their allocations to private equity. And number three, family offices will have an increased desire to focus on the geographic exposure of their private equity allocations. And we'll end the video with the final thought. So let's get started with our first prediction that private credit will become more attractive. As we've explained in many of our previous videos, the private credit industry grew quite a lot after the global financial crisis, since banks were more restricted from lending, including on private equity deals. Now, most large private equity firms have private credit funds that give all types of loans, including direct loans, such as on private equity transactions, mezzanine loans, which can include PIC loans, PIC stands for payment in kind, specialty loans, such as NAV loans, loans against the net asset value of private equity portfolio companies, and distress loans, such as loans to companies that are close to or going through bankruptcy. With increased interest rates, the returns given to private lenders have increased dramatically. For example, I have seen some pick loans that have reached over 20%. Now, I understand that along with the increased returns comes increased risk. So, I would agree that there is a higher risk of default on these loans. But, let's say there is a default. Well, I would argue that the recovery rate of the defaulted assets is higher than most people would expect because of the expertise that the private credit funds have. In other words, if a company defaults, the private credit firms will most likely not lose all of the money. They have to go through restructuring and if it's a good fund, it will probably have the expertise to ensure that investors can recover some of the investment. Remember, that because it is the debt portion of the investment, the private credit firms are higher up on the capital structure than the equity investors. Private equity funds, especially buyout funds, will now have to borrow at higher interest rates and they are lower on the capital structure than private credit funds. So that is why we have our first prediction for 2024 that private credit funds will be more attractive. Well, I just want to state a disclaimer. The private credit industry is fairly new and has not been tested by a large downturn. If we have another big downturn like we did in 2008, I don't know how the industry will weather the storm. While I believe the industry will become more attractive in the current conditions, I may want to alter this prediction if the markets drastically change. Okay, so let's move on to our next prediction that High net worth individuals will increase their allocations to private equity. Well, there are more vehicles for high net worth individuals to invest in private equity than ever before. As we mentioned in our video titled Liquid Private Equity, there are third party evergreen funds offered by firms such as Harborvest, Northleaf, Hamilton Lane, and Partners Group. There are First party open ended funds such as K Prime and EQT Nexus. And there are methods for private equity investing through the private wealth channel with companies such as Opto Investments. In addition to the firms above, there are a lot of other firms that are making moves to try to have a robust offering for high net worth individuals. Two deals 
that we covered in our video newsletter last year were the TPG Angelo Gordon deal and the CVC Diff Capital Partners deal. These deals involved two large private equity firms, TPG and CVC, making acquisitions in other alternative asset managers, Angela Gordon and Diff Capital Partners, so that TPG and CVC can offer their clients a more diverse selection of alternative investments. I wouldn't be surprised if firms like TPG and CVC have more offerings targeted directly at the high net worth channel in the future. Now, the reason for the increased supply of private equity offerings to high net worth individuals is because of the large demand for private equity from high net worth individuals. High net worth individuals and their advisors are tired of the volatility and short-termism of the public markets. And many of them believe that private equity outperforms the public markets and offers diversification benefits. So, based on the increased supply and strong demand for private equity, my second prediction is that high net worth individuals will increase their allocations to private equity. Now let's move on to family offices will have an increased desire to focus on the geographic exposure of their private equity allocations. In 2023, I was lucky enough to train and have detailed conversations with family offices in Europe, in places like the UK, Switzerland, and Germany, in Asia, in places like Mumbai, Singapore, and Jakarta, and across North America. A consistent message from the families is that they are worried about how global conflicts will affect their current investments that are based in countries that might not be politically friendly with their home country. Because of the increased global uncertainty, many family offices have the perception that there are certain countries where they have investments, where they feel that political risk has vastly increased over the past two years. Because of this, when it comes to family offices' allocations to private equity, family offices are looking for long-term investments in private companies or private equity funds in geographic locations where they believe the environment will be resilient in the event of an escalation in global conflicts. More specifically, as our third prediction states, I believe that family offices will have an increased desire to focus on the geographic exposure of their private equity allocations. Now, here's a final thought. 2024 will be an interesting year for the private equity industry. Many claim that since we have higher interest rates, the industry will not do as well as it has in the past. Well, I agree that higher interest rates on their own will lead to higher borrowing costs. But there is still trillions of dollars of dry powder looking for deals and a lot more money going into the industry from new investors, such as from high net worth individuals. No one knows what will happen in 2024, but if I had to predict it, I'd say that number one, private credit will become more attractive. Number two, High net worth individuals will increase their allocations to private equity. And number three, family offices will have an increased desire to focus on the geographic exposure of their private equity allocations.